Lunchtime in the jungle, and all the animals are busy eating. Mommy, I want some more. Now, you've had enough to feed a pig, Wildy. If you don't stop eating so much, you're going to be as fat as Mother. Little girls don't look pretty if they get too fat. You want to be pretty, don't you? Yes, Mommy. <laughs> What is it to be pretty if you're starving? Surprise. Huh? Oh, would you like some of my lunch? Thank you. Who are you? Gargoyle G. Warthog. Oh, Gargoyle. Are you new here? Yes, I just moved up here from the other side of the track. My name is Wildy Boar. Welcome. <laughs> Help yourself to some lunch. Oh, thank you, Gargoyle. Hmm, it's delicious. So long. I've got to go now. Goodbye. Hey! Come on, come on. If you want to fight, you can't buffalo me. I'll show you. Call off, you big boy. I'll oh, tell you the little pieces of that. Cheat! Really? Wait, don't fight. <clears throat> don't you know it's wrong to fight? But we like to fight. I hit him and he hits me. Now it's my turn to give him a punch. Like this. If you just can't keep from fighting, please don't hit each other. Why don't you hit me instead? Huh? What? Go ahead. <laughs> there now. That's the end of the fight. <laughs> Excuse me, but you shouldn't hurt your baby. But he deserves a good spanking because he's naughty. I'd like to share his spanking so he won't feel so bad. You must be cracked. I'm with you, boy. <coughs> Cut it out! Calm down, everybody! I'm talking! Trouble, Bucky. I've opened the post office and I hired the pelicans for mailmen. But I can't get them to do any work. All they want to do is play. Would you let me help run the post office, please? You bet. You can be my assistant. You take charge of deliveries. Get the mailman organized. Come on, we're going to play follow the tail. <laughs> See your new post office, Bucky. This is it. There's our mailman. Appears to me this post office is a knockout. Yes, sir. Congratulations. You've done a wonderful job getting it organized. Thank you. <laughs> Oops. Oh. <laughs> we certainly appreciate what you and your assistant are doing. Hello, Gargoyle. You're working hard. I like to work hard. And besides, the mail must go through, you know. I'd like to say thanks. You don't have to be nice to me. I'm not asking for any thanks. Oh. Well, peculiar, ain't he? Ever since he came to the jungle, I've been puzzled about that boy. Oh, Kimball, package for you. 
couldn't carry it in my beak, but I brought it just the same. Where is it, then? Look over there. Huh? I asked to be delivered to you, Kimber, because I thought you might be able to help me. I'm trying to find my son. He ran away from home. Your son? His name is Gargoyle. Gargoyle, he Warthog is your son? He's working down at the post office. It's this way. I'll show you. <laughs> Gargoyle. Well, don't you have anything to say to your own mother? No, I don't have any mother. Why, Gargoyle, of course you do. I'm your mother. You're wrong. I don't know you, and I'm not your son. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Why you pretended that wasn't your mother? Because I don't want to be her son. Hey! Don't come near me, Kimba. All right? I warned you to leave me alone. Oh, uh, uh, why are you fighting with me, Gargoyle? I don't like you. Why not? All right. Tell me why you don't like me. Because you're handsome. Handsome? Look at yourself. You're the handsomest animal in the jungle. And look at me. I'm ugly. I ran away so my mother'd never have to see my ugly face again. <laughs> Not a single animal in the whole world is as ugly as me. That's why all the others always laugh at me, Kimba. I know my mother must be ashamed of me. That's why I ran away from home. Gargoyle, you're wrong. Your mother loves you and she's worried about you. Please, come back with me. No. No. How could you know how I feel, Kimba? You're handsome and I'm ugly. What happened to Gargoyle, Kimba? He wouldn't come back here now. Don't worry, Mrs. Warthog. He will show up soon. Polly Crocker, what's that shiny thing? It's what you call a medal. I found it. It belonged to a human being. You see, in their world, if you do something outstanding that helps mankind, you receive a medal like this for a prize. Say, Polly, I've got an idea. Why don't we give that medal to the animal who does the most good for the jungle? That's terrific. We could call it the Animal of the Year contest and make Daniel Baboon the judge, since he's the oldest. Gargoyle wins the medal, then maybe he'll realize that handsome is as handsome does. Kimba! Kimba! Why, what in the world has happened, Bucky? Uh... It's bad news, Kimba. Oh! I know it's bad news, but what is it? Vandals broke into our branch post office at Baboonville. They knocked out the mailman and destroyed everything. It sounds like the kind of thing the Holler Gang would do. Let's go and see. Come on. You see? It's ruined. Gosh.
you are. You can't tell us what we can do and what we can't. I'm not trying to tell you what to do, Holler, but it's a jungle law that no one's allowed to interfere with the delivery of mail. Your gang destroyed our post office. So what? That's breaking the rules. Yeah. Uh, maybe you think you can stop us, Kimba. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> oh. Hey! Let go my tail, you wait! We're on number. Let's go! I'm ready! His baboons are responsible for all this damage. That Howler gang has got to be punished for breaking the law, and it's up to us to do it, right? Good. Right. Let's all go down to Baboonville and beat up those nasty baboons. Let's go. Yeah. Wait. They won't be easy to beat. We'll need to have a plan. If we all work together, maybe we can outwit the baboons. How? I suggest that we sneak up quietly and build a trap to catch them. <laughs> all right. Follow me. Can I go with you? I'd be honored, Wildy. I like to walk with you, Gargoyle, because you're so strong. I don't feel afraid. I like to walk with you because you're the loveliest creature in all the jungle. I mean... <coughs> We're friends now, aren't we, Gargoyle? Gosh, I never had a friend. <laughs> Wildy Boar. Wildy, what are you doing with that ugly boy? How many times have I told you, don't play with boys with warts? Do you want to grow up to be ugly like him? Wow. 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 Huh? Where's he going? Everyone, we're getting close to Baboonville. Come on, Aardvarks. Dig the hole for the trap right here. <gasps> Did they hear us? It's all right. Keep digging. You help them, moles. Okay. I'll help them. <sharp inhale> what did I say wrong, Kimba? <sharp inhale> Okay. You can stop now, Aardvarks. That's deep enough. I hear footsteps coming this way. Hurry up now. Get a vine and pull the Aardvarks up out of the hole. One, two, three. <laughs> now cover the hole with branches so they won't know it's there. Quick! They're coming now. Hide. Uh. <laughs> 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 it worked. It's gargoyle. Gargoyle. Oh, no. oh, no. Your baboons destroyed our main post office while you were gone. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. 
It's Gargoyle's fault we didn't catch the baboons. He spoiled our plans. Yeah, he did. Why did you do that, Gargoyle? Why? You knew the hole was there. I wanted to hide my ugly face. You can hide your face in a tree if that's what you want. Hmm. I can't climb trees. You can hide your face in the water. See what I mean? I can't swim. You could have found some place instead of our trap, couldn't you? Stop it! That's not gonna help anything, Polly. Gargoyle, sorry. Yes, I am. Gargoyle, good deeds are more important than good looks. I tried to be good, but what good did it do? Gargoyle! Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mother. Don't you call me Mother. You're no son of mine. You're ashamed of me, aren't you? Yes, I am, but not for the reasons you think. I'm ashamed of you because you're a coward who wants to hide his head in a hole. Hmm. I'm not a coward, Mother. I'm just ugly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's right, you know. Poor Gargoyle. Now he's lost his chance to win the medal. I'm not a coward. I'll show her. I'll show them all. for what my mother said. Oh. oh, dear, you've hurt yourself. I'll go get water. Don't bother. Just go away and leave me alone. Aren't we friends anymore? No, we can't be. I'm not good enough. Your mother was right. My face is ugly. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Please don't do that. Gargoyle, please. Handsome is as handsome does, Gargoyle. Oh, I don't care what my mother says. I like you because you're brave and kind. Do you mean it, Wildy? Of course I do. Say, do you think your mother would change your mind about me if I won the medal for the animal of the year? Do you think you have a chance to win it? I don't know, but I gotta try. Baboons, look out! Here I come! No! Don't go near those baboons! They're dangerous! I don't care! He went to Baboonville alone? Yes. Gargoyle wants to beat up Holler and his whole gang. But Wildy, he won't have a chance. Kimba, don't let him get hurt. Can't you help him, please? I'll have to try. I wonder where Howler's gang is. Baboonville's up ahead there in the rocks. Howler! Where are you? You apes are gonna get punished for all the trouble you caused. I dare you come out and fight! Sounds like somebody's spoiling for a fight. Go give it to him. There you are. Look at that clown. Cut it out. What are you laughing at? <laughs> about it, clown. I'll close your mouth for you. Gargoyle! Oh, 
gargoyle, are you all right? Kimba, maybe you'd like a dose of the same medicine. I can close your mouth, too. Why did you try to come after the baboons alone, gargoyle? It was the only way I could win the battle. <laughs> His mouth is open again, Howler. We'll close it for him. Oh, no, you don't. Ah. Ah. I'll teach you to howl all right. Ah. Hey, let go. Hold him, Howler. We'll hit him with this beehive. Ah. Sorry. The bees are after us. Ah. That ought to teach you to mind your own beeswax, you apes. I don't think the holler gang will bother us anymore. Oh, Gargoyle, are you all right? Sure, Mother. I've never been better. Mrs. Warthog, feel proud of him. Your son was very brave. He attacked those baboons single-handedly. Attention! I wish to award this medal to Gargoyle. Timber's the one should get the medal. Why should I? You were the bravest and you deserve it. You're the winner. You're the animal of the year. Congratulations, Gargoyle. Everyone's proud of you now, especially me. Thanks. Come, son, time to go home. Say goodbye to him, Wildy. Little girls should be nice to handsome young boys. But you said he was ugly, Mother. How many times must I tell you a beauty is only skin deep? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.